Did the Prime Minister really just say in Parliament that he will not obey the law? That's what I want to talk about in this video. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, so you won't miss another Brexit video. But now, let's go! Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Brexit video. Today was the first day Parliament was sitting again after the not happen prorogation. It was quite a heated day with a very interesting end, at least what the Prime Minister is regarding. Boris Johnson has just left the House of Commons. Um, there are still points of orders, but uh, it was the end was that interesting <laughs> that I uh, started to film now. I just want to give you a quick overview first what happened today because it started quite harshly already when um, Attorney General Jeffrey Cox uh, gave a statement on the Supreme Court judgment from yesterday. It was uh, quite interesting. Joanna Cherry, you know the MP from Scotland, who was uh, one of the leading claimants at the Scottish Court, who were fighting the appeal of the government and Supreme Court yes, uh, this week. She asked him about the advice he gave to the Prime Minister regarding prorogation. There were a lot of questions today regarding this. And uh, he always said he can't talk about this. He is not allowed to say if he gave advice and if he did what kind of advice. But he promised that the government would talk about if they will publish any answers to that. All in all, there were two urgent questions today and five ministerial statements, um, for example, about Iran. But the interesting parts were, first of all, the appearance of, of Jeffrey Cox, which was hard to watch, I must say. I'm a viewer from the outside and I thought, well, what's going on there? He was really harsh in his answers. He was absolutely aggressive and that's something um, I don't see in our parliament. So we, we're not even used to uh, Prime Minister's questions and stuff like that. We know that it's always a bit tougher in, in, in the House of Commons. But that today was real, really surprising. So it really felt like uh, the, the dog was cornered and, and now he starts to bite everywhere. I'm sorry to say that, but that is the feeling that you get as a neutral viewer from the outside. One interesting point that will be um, important for what comes later was the Attorney General was asked if the government will obey the Ban Act. You remember the Ban Act is what the government... Um, likes to call the uh, Surrender Act that was passed before um, Parliament was prorogued. It says that if the Prime Minister can't get a deal through Parliament or can cannot get Parliament to agree to a no deal, he has, has to ask the EU for an extension with a letter that is already included in, in this Act. The Act was brought through Parliament and got royal assent. So now it is law. And uh, Cox was asked if government will obey this law. And if you ask the government if they will obey a law, you obviously mean the whole law. And the Attorney General clearly said yes. Then, as I said, there were ministerial statements. Um, of course, the one especially about Iran is, is, is important, but uh, I, I will skip that on, on the, in this video because there, there are some things um, regarding Brexit at the moment that are really astonishing. First of all, Boris Johnson um, later on appeared to give a statement on the Supreme Court judgment. Um, one interesting point about that was his statement about the Supreme Court included about two sentences about the Supreme Court judgment um, and the rest was completely about general election, Brexit, that he wants a deal, um, that uh, Jeremy Corbyn is too scared to um, have an election because Jeremy Corbyn would believe that he's losing an election and so on and so on. And uh, the title of the statement was um, Supreme Court. So it was quite interesting because the whole thing um, or the whole statement of the Prime Minister sounded like it already, like an uh, election campaign. Jeremy Corbyn obviously <laughs> was not very happy about what he got to hear there. Um, I said some things about what happened on the Labour Party conference 
so he's not in a very good position at the moment and, and that's a, something he brought himself in but he obviously don't doesn't want a general election now but he was not very fond of the aggression that went through parliament today that was really um well i have to say it was improper what, what i saw there i mean you could see it in the, in, in the face of many people what was happening there that the, there was quite a rant there and it was uh, as i said hard to watch today and the point um that came over the screen was that boris johnson tried to provoke um the opposition into a vote of no confidence or into um voting for a general election that was the impression i got all the time while boris johnson was talking and when he was given answers to about 110 mp's today um in his statement there were some interesting parts uh I have to skip because of the end of the whole session. There was just for example, Joe Swinson said uh, even her five-year-old son knows when to say sorry, and Boris Johnson doesn't even know that. Um, and the whole discussion with the 110 questions, but in the end, something happened that I didn't expect. Boris Johnson, like um, Jeffrey Cox, all day said he will obey the law, all day, and then he was asked for the sixth time about the ban act and he was asked very clearly he was asked if no deal is agreed on by parliament uh, before the 19th of october and if parliament does not agree on a no deal before the 19th of october will he ask the eu for an extension this is a very clear question because that includes the whole content of the ban act Boris Johnson got up and answered with one simple word, no. So I heard it quite clearly what he said there. I heard the question quite clearly and I heard the answer quite clearly. From what I have seen there and I have heard there, a prime minister in office told the parliament in the House of Commons that he will not obey the law. I was completely stunned. And after that, Boris Johnson left the House of Commons. There were points of orders then and John uh, Burko, the Speaker of the House, asked the Prime Minister to stay um, because the points of orders that will come will have to do with what was a topic of the statement before. And um, of course the opposition started with asking about this question and the answer Boris Johnson gave, but he was already gone. John Burko then said they want to look into the transcripts uh, so the for for my other views the, the protocols that were written during the speeches and during the statements during, during the questions to have a look again what was said there but i was concentrating on the live stream at that moment i clearly heard the question and i clearly heard the answer and so i must now believe that the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom told Parliament that he will not obey the law. And that is, whoa, just unbelievable. We will see what consequences will happen or what will be the comments there or what will Boris Johnson say tomorrow. I have to grant him that he just came back from New York, was tired and maybe lost his temper there. But that was a shock for me. So I'm going to stop here because that was... Uh, really something that happened there. I will talk about what's happening in Parliament this week in another video, but uh, whoa. So I just want to thank you now for watching. Let's wait what's going to happen there, what Boris Johnson is going to say in the next days about what he did there. But uh, for now, I wish you a good night and see you soon.